something. Hey, you guys, we we'll get started in just one moment. Uh, we're, there you go. That looks good. And then plank pose. We're up, dog. Yeah, perfect. That's all we need. All right, and then I'll. Yeah. I did. <laughs> no problem. I was uh, taking off my Wi Fi and turned mine on airplane mode, so. So it doesn't interfere with streaming. Take that down. Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Saturday to the Yam crew, of course, to the my Facebook friends as well. Let's try to minimize any interference. You guys want to set up your room? I heated mine up a little bit because Melissa said I could. How's it feeling all right to you? Um, if you guys want music, you can set your own. A little bit of background music. I'm, we like music, but we aren't using it, so you, you can hear a little bit better for us. Or from uh, you hear the instruction a little clearer. And I think I'm good. <laughs> I'll tell you, we'll start seated just to change things up a bit. You know, when there's a will, there's a way, yeah. All right, everyone, should have enough time to go. Let's see if we're good. Yeah, we seem to be good. All right, so what's an easy pose, Indian style, whatever's comfortable. Start up nice and tall, knee inhale, press down, and reach the hands up. From here, draw the hands to your lap, stack them up, palms up. Try, right, try left over right, then try right over left. Close your eyes for a moment and kind of shut them down. And first, a little posture check. My sister and I used to use this uh, all the time when we rode the lake. We'd often find ourselves very hunchy, and we would say PC, which stood back then for posture check. So here, a little posture check. Press down to lift the chest up. So we're lifting through the crown of the head. On the exhales, soften the shoulders, eyes close, and set up the breath. The basis of everything, really, it all starts with the breath. On the inhales, into the nose, cleansing it filtering it, warming it, drawing it down the back to the lower lung from bottom to top. And a long exhale, the breath flowing up the front of the chest, again, out through the nose. So we use a lot of Tai Chi, we might use a little bit this morning, but you can kind of visualize the flow of the breath, even seated here. Here working for quality of breath. I've often said we have no guarantee of the quantity of breaths in this life, but we control the quality of each and every one. This morning, that's what I want to focus on, the quality of the breath, looking for the fluidity, extending both the inhale and as much so, or maybe even a bit further on the exhale, completing the exhale, giving it the time it needs. And I'll tell you what, if you don't feel like doing anything, you just want to sit here and breathe with us, you'll have a longer, healthier, happier life because of it. It's little steps like breath that has huge implications for the rest of our life. But for some of you guys who want to move a little bit as well, I'm down with that. So we'll kick things off with a twist. I'll tell you what, we'll draw the hands to prayer. Keep the eyes closed. We stay dialed in. On the inhale, press down to reach the hands high. On the exhale, rotate to the right Join Left hand, right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. Long exhale. Use a little bit of the leverage of the left arm against the right leg to twist toward the back of the room. A couple of breaths spiraling up and down. A couple of long exhales. From here on the inhale, circling back to the front of the room. Exhale, hands find prayer. Inhale, reach. On the exhale, rotate. Come in left, right hand, left knee, left hand behind you. On the inhale, again, get a little taller. Long exhale, twisting over that left shoulder. Easy. Never trying to force anything. Just that exploration, looking for little pockets of tightness or tension. And the exhale is letting it dissipate. From here, finding that inhale, drawing us back to the front of the room. Exhale, hands once again to prayer. On the inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. 
So as soon as your palms touch, first motion on the inhale, press sit bones down, lifting chest up. On the exhale, walk the fingers forward, allow the hairline to drift toward the floor. It doesn't have to touch. Melissa's comes very close, close or touches. Mine is a good foot away. But we're both flexing through our heels, pressing through our sit bones, lifting a little taller, and riding this breath till this body starts to open up. Sometimes the acknowledgement, it's okay to relax for a moment. Just a throat clear, yes? Yes. Yeah. Next inhale, glance to the front of the room. And from here on the exhale, just shift it forward. We're coming on to all fours. So we'll position the hands underneath the chest, the knees underneath the hips. Let's spread the fingers very wide. You're pressing them out of way. So the body's engaged. You have to really press away strong, but you're creating a little bit of space, staying heavy with the fingers. On the inhale, draw the chest forward, arch coming to the back. On the exhale, rounding the back, pressing spine to sky. Again, inhale, hands lightly gripping. And a long, slow exhale, finish. Inhale, seek length. This time we're going to tuck the toes. On the exhale, simply straighten the legs and drift upside down. So our head is hanging loose. Big hands here. Looking back at the feet, hips width apart they are. As we start to pedal it out, bending one knee, press the opposite heel, and slowly rotate, walking it back and forth easily. Slowly. Then on the inhale, press hips a bit higher. On the exhale, simply walk both feet. Forward. We'll come into a wide leg. You can bring the feet on the outsides of the mat. I'll tell you what, from here, we'll just come sideways on our mats. Is that cool? So it's easier to see a little bit. So from that nice wide leg, on the inhale, press down, lifting halfway up. On the exhale, fold. So from here, we'll walk both hands to the outside left ankle. Big inhale, getting long. On the exhale, drawing nose, left toes. So legs are strong, getting long here. And then slowly drifting back to center and all the way right. On the inhale, crown the head away from the tailbone. And the exhale, nose drawn toward the right toes. Each inhale, looking for that little movement. Each exhale, finding the breath, finding that little bit of space. Beautiful. Walk the hands back to center one more time. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, fold to that lowest point. Slight bend in the knees, chin to chest. Inhale, roll it up. Restack as we rise, one vertebrae at a time. From your shoulders back and down, we'll bend the knees deep. We'll drift into a horse stance. I'll tell you what, more of my favorite little Tai Chi's. We'll play with cloud hands to warm things up this morning and help clear that mind. So we'll gaze in that right palm and scoop the left hand as if you're cradling something. Soften shoulders. Big inhale, float to the right. The awareness of the palm of the right hand. On the exhale, turn right hand, right wall, shift the weight, right leg, and float the left hand up on the departure of the right. On the inhale, the world in the palm of your left hand, capturing that awareness, that gaze, leads the way. Long exhale, left side, shifting weight, left leg. Right hand floats. Inhale, let's get low now. Slowly turning to the right. Long exhale, extending freely. And then floating with the left. So it's capturing the gaze, representing capturing the thought. It's giving you the end of the class. Inhale, capture the thought, palm of the right hand, embrace it, whatever it is. On the exhale, just let it go. Right side. It becomes a habit of letting things go. It becomes easier and easier as you practice it. It works conversely as well. You practice holding on to stuff. Hurt feelings, a big one. That becomes a habit as well. So here, the art of non-suffering, non-attachment, we let things go. I'll tell you what, one more time to the right, lower, slower, longer, bring in a quality of movement. And one more time to the left. Beautiful, from here, let's come on up and I'll tell you, what, we'll just walk to the front of our mats. We spend a lot of time on cloud hands. I don't want to get too far behind. I love that one though. Here we have strong legs, single breath, inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, fold forward, swan dive forward. On the inhale, draw the crown of the head toward the front of the room. On the exhale, plant the hands, walk to slowly, float back. Beautiful. 
from here, you can start to modify right away. You can lower the knees anytime you wish. In fact, you'll get stronger quicker by modifying. I know I say it, I say it every time because it's still true. On the inhale, drift forward, long exhale, bend the elbows no more than 90 degrees. Next inhale, press down. On the exhale, press the shoulders away from the ears. Just a breath or two here. Big tendency collapse in the shoulders. If this is the case, keep those knees down. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Here, the shoulder blades are coming together, so the back's active, and you're heavy through the fingers. On the inhale, draw the chest a little closer to the front of the room. On the exhale, now tuck the toes with a little push-up. Extend the hips skyward. Very good. Back to that original pose. Here, we can start to walk it up. By bending one knee, press opposite heel, and slowly rotate. Pushing the weight forward, stay heavy in the fingers. Beautiful. Let's get warm. A few sun sal A's, as they're called in the biz. On the inhale, crouch. Exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. All the way up slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Strong legs, hands gather. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, crown the front of the room. On the exhale, walk, jump, or float. <laughs> inhale, drift. On the exhale, as we descend, the slower you go, the stronger you'll be. Next inhale, press the earth away, lifting the chest up. On the exhale, tuck toes, hips high. With or without the push-up. Melissa rarely misses opportunity for a push-up. I've noticed that about you. <laughs> inhale, crouch. Exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, left hand descends, right hand comes over. So just working the side for a moment. On the inhale, pressing down through both sides of the body. We get a little tall and exhale, take a little deeper. Left arm hanging loose, right arm reaching up, right shoulder soft. Strong leg, single breath, inhale, left hand extends out and up. On the exhale, right hand down, left hand over. Switch it up side to side, still that movement, lifting now through the right side as well as the left, getting long, taking it over on the exhales. And then we'll keep the left hand high this time. On the inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, draw the hands to prayer. On the inhale, stand tall. On the exhale, Melissa's favorite. Time. To, I know, I was going to say, favorite time to roll her eyes. We bend the knees, allow the knees to flare out and bring the hands down. And just working on a little bit of warming the body up. So the fingers are spread. Shift the weight in the fingers. Keep the elbows straight. And you can stop here or you can start to play with picking up one foot at a time or maybe both feet come up and you're pressing away. Is this, if this gets easy, bring one knee between the elbows for a breath and then rotate other knee between the elbows for a breath. As that becomes easy, you can start to rotate even more fluidly. I was getting out of the way so you can properly demonstrate. I don't want to get, yeah, I don't want to sandbag you there. From here. We'll bring the toes down and we'll work on the little jump back, float back, impossible. So elbows straight and strong. This is going to assist. Shift the weight forward and just draw the legs toward the back of the room. Inhale, seek length. Exhale, descend. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, tuck toes, hips high. Beautiful. Listen up. We'll change things up a little bit. On the inhale, press. Exhale, deep lunge. Left foot to kick things off. Give me one of those classes. Stay on the ball of the right foot or drop the right knee with me. Plant the right hand on the inside of the left foot. Sorry, my love. Inhale, left hand forward. Exhale, left hand to the sky. You know, but resist, persist. So left knee is a tendency of flare. We're going to keep it lined up over that foot. Each inhale, she's actively pressing through the right heel, drawing the crown of that forward. And exhale, she's trying to draw her right shoulder to the inside of the left knee with her left hand high. Now, what makes Melissa not like this pose, my understanding is starting to float the right hand. So I'm going to say she doesn't have to extend it forward, but see, that doesn't work. She still wants to go for it. So this is incredibly hard, which is why I kind of talk during this part and use her as a demo. Just three breaths. But what she's doing is pressing through the heel. She's drawing the whole body forward. What she's also doing is feeling so much sensation that her amazing mind is gone quiet for a moment. Now she's starting to think, will he ever shut up and move out of this pose? Next inhale, rotate, jet airplane, and exhale, soften. Inhale, reaching out, reaching up, looking up-ish. Exhale, take the hands down. Tricky part here, we're trying to pick up the left foot and draw it straight back without sliding. On the inhale, we'll drift. Exhale, descend. 
Inhale, draw it forward, hips remain level. Exhale, tuck right toes, hips and left leg sky. I'm gonna regret starting on this left side, I bet. <laughs> Legs are strong, we're flexing through the heels. And to line up the hips, we flex to the left foot and point the little left toe down. There you go. You wanna get a little stronger on this one. Grab the mat with the left hand, start to slide the right hand toward that right ankle. Very tough. You can feel that weight heavy in the left fingers, left hand is active. Beautiful. We don't need a lot of weights to maintain our strength. We just have to use gravity and find a couple awkward angles. Got to find a little discomfort. That right hand is going to join left now. On the inhale, we'll bring it up. On the exhale, coming through. Once again, stand on the ball, the right foot. Inhale, extend out, extend up. On the exhale, soften the shoulders, reaching up for a moment. So on the inhale, really want to extend high. On the exhale, soften the shoulders down. Beautiful. From here, let's open up palms to the sky. So first, just extending the hands out. But now I want to add a little bit of effort here. Um, yeah, that's my face. I want you to try to touch the sides of the room. There is a difference between just extending your arms and really exercising your will by reaching. This class, always exercising that will. Inhale, hands drift up. On the exhale, coming together behind the back, interlacing. Inhale, drop the knuckles, heart high. Exhale, fold forward, chest to thigh. We'll shift the weight and take off here this morning. Awkward warrior three. The basics, that left leg is strong. Press down through the left leg, flex to the right foot, and play with it. Play with turning the little right toe, pointing directly down to the ground, which you can see on Melissa's back, flattens it out. Palms are pressing any of these awkward presentations. We're trying to get the knuckles away from the shoulder. So if it's coming out from the body or just straight back, that's fine. It makes no difference. But we're pressing the palms to open up this heart. That makes a lot of difference. Coming up slow on the inhale, press down left leg. We're drawing the right leg forward. Whoa, Nelly, on the exhale, find your place here. So you might start off bent with me or maybe start to straighten it. Maybe somewhere in between. Each inhale, see if you can get a little taller, lifting up. On the exhale, drop knuckles, eye sky. Such a beauty and strength and boldness. Last two breaths. What happens if you close your eyes? I mean, you're at home anyway, so no one's going to know if you fall. But can you fall and maintain the fluid breath? That's the challenge. That's the point of the practice. Physicality, awesome, but just kind of side effects. Gaze to the horizon. Inhale, knee lifting. Exhale, heel drifting toward the back of the room. Now, we're going to play a little game and see how low we can go keeping the body parallel to the floor. <laughs> there you go. So on the inhale, long, flex to the right heel. On the exhale, bend the left knee. Now keep the gaze about a foot in front of you and just see how low you can go keeping that left knee. My left knee is a little problematic, so I can't come down that much. I'm still lifting the chest and float, still floating my right heel. So on the inhale, long, on the exhale, straight the left leg. Inhale, we're drawing, coming forward again, drawing the right knee to the front of the room. On the exhale, find your iteration here. Inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, we twist things up a little bit. Left hand finding the right ankle or maybe that right shin or foot. Right hand finding the back of the room. You see it's a little windy in the studio here today, so it's blowing us around a little bit. You guys doing all right? Hello, hello, everyone. I don't know what the etiquette is to respond to people who say nice things or just to kind of keep trucking with class, which would be more polite. On the inhale, tall, exhale, both hands forward. Dwight would be getting us out of this pose. Inhale, reach, <laughs> exhale, hands gather behind the back. I like to do this, open the heart and to settle the hips. Inhale, knee high, exhale, coming back to the back of the room. Should we do that again? Yes. No, inhale, long, exhale, slow, fluidly, rebend left knee, drop that right foot. Inhale, reach high, let's catch a twist. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, prep for that twist. Exhale, let's come on over to the left. Trying to poise that right elbow on the outside of the left knee so we have that leverage to press down with the left hand and twist the chest to the left side of the room. So you can press down. That's what rings that body out. This is great. I often mention that I like to keep my knee down here so I can really feature the twist or focus on it. Or you might need more leverage. Extending the right arm outside the left knee foot, left hand to the sky, or find a couple different variations of binds, half or full, meaning find your hands under your leg. Everyone's gonna be doing the same thing here as far as trying to get more length. So each inhale, press down through both feet. That's the tricky part on these lunges. 
getting longer. Then on the exhale, twist whichever direction you're going. Looking very stern. There you go. Now you're not looking stern at all. I've got about two more breaths. Let me catch a little twist here as well. Beautiful. We start our way unwrapping so the hands find prayer. On the inhale, press down. We reach up. On the exhale, coming down slow. Left foot up. Straight back once again as if we're hitting some sort of bonus round. On the inhale, drift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, draw it forward. Exhale, tuck right toe, system left leg, sky. Beautiful, challenging here, cool. If you want a little bit more on the inhale, look between the hands and exhale, bend the elbows and hover the chest. About an inch off the mat, lifting the crown of the head, lifting the left heel, slide the nose forward until you notice the weight in the fingers. Engage the hands, breathe deeply. On the inhale, float the left heel up. On the exhale, press the elbow straight and strong. Left heel to the sky. Inhale, higher. Exhale, lunge it through. Right heel descends. Inhale, reach out, reach up, look up. Exhale, coming down slow. Left foot up, back, down. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, press down to lift up. On the exhale, tuck toe, sips high. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale long, exhale low. Next inhale, reach out, reach up, strong legs, hands gather. Exhale, fold. Inhale, seek length. On the exhale, once again, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, top of the toes, exhale, descend. Inhale, draw it forward. Exhale, hands alive, hips high. Next inhale, we press. On the exhale, bring the knees down. So find all fours for a moment. Inhale, seeking length. Long exhale, open it up, spine, sky. One more time, your own pace. Big inhale wherever you are. Long exhale, finish it. Beautiful inhale to neutral. On the exhale, soften. Next inhale is so the right heel to the back of the room. On the exhale, press the, the mat away. And if you feel stable, you can draw the left hand forward, left bicep in your left ear. So in the inhale, we're going to reach. On the exhale, bring left elbow to touch right knee. And then inhale, extend. Thumb and heel lift. On the exhale, slowly coming together. So some people do this. I think they go really fast. I want to go slow. Big inhale, extend fully. Long exhale. Take your time. Finish the breath. Two more. Now listen up, this time on the inhale, we'll extend, but on the exhale, bend the knee and find the right ankle with the left hand. On the inhale, seek length, on the exhale, now flex the ankle in the hand and open it up. So flex the right heel to open a bit further for you. You can glance over that left shoulder, move the weight forward, press strong through that right chest, so heavy through right fingers. And ideally, each exhale, hand and foot rise a little bit. Micro movements they may be. Beautiful. Next inhale, heel back, hand forward, reach. On the exhale, hand and knee descend and join the others. Inhale, chest forward, tuck toes. Exhale, straighten legs, upside down we go. Walk it out as the body acclimates. How'd that feel, all right? Mm -hmm. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, float. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Strong legs, hands touch. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, crown head forward. On the exhale, once again, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, drift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, press down, lift the body up. Exhale, tuck toes, hips coming high. Inhale, we press. Exhale, right foot comes forward. Beautiful. Stand the ball on the left foot or drop the left knee. Then we'll plant that hand on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, right hand spins to the front of the room. On the exhale, it extends to the sky. Ascends to the sky. So again, that simple movement. Inhale, pressing down through both feet, getting longer. On the exhale, twisting up, left shoulder inside the right knee. Maybe, maybe just floating that left hand. You can pick up a little bit, a lot of core strength. 
you know, the digestive system, respiratory system are aligned in this core strength. It's well beyond aesthetics. This body is made to be strong, made to be used really daily one way or another. There's days off, but even on days off, you want to recover. Recovering is active as well. There's things you can do to actively recover. In some ways, this practice is also a recovery as well, depending on what you do with it and your fitness level at this time. I remember I really hung out a long time on this one. Yeah, so I'm waiting for you to get a little angry. Then I know it's time to it's time to move. Look at that. Next inhale, rotate, shake. Plane on the exhale, soften. Inhale, reach out, reach out. On the exhale, taking the hands down. Beautiful. Right foot comes up and back. So it's that single leg. Really tough here. Full inhale, drift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, draw it forward. Exhale, tuck left toe. So right leg, sky. So flexing through the heels. Big hands, hips level. Point the little right toe down. Challenge and cool. You want to get warm on the inhale. Look between the hands. And exhale, bend the elbows, cover the chest. So eyes are to the front of the room. Right heel light. Nose coming forward. Heavy through fingers. And slowly on the inhale. Heel high. Next to elbow straight and strong. Heel sky. That's a tough one. Inhale. Bring it up. Exhale, lunge it through. Once again, the ball, the left foot, inhale, reach. On the exhale, bend the elbow stumps to the back of the neck. On the inhale, press the palms firmly. On the exhale, soften the shoulders, separate the elbows, open up. Eyes, sky. So play with that duality, pressing the palms firmly, but trying to soften the shoulders and separate the elbows. It seems a bit impossible. There is a duality there. You can feel that energy kind of rotate. Always circling. Beautiful. Inhale, hands reach up. On the exhale, gathering together behind the back, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, drop the knuckles, heart high. Exhale, fold forward, chest to thighs, shift the weight, and take off. I really took off there for a second. So stabilize, right leg strong. Press down first, then flex left heel, point little left toe down. That gaze, about a foot or two in front of you. You'll feel the chest lift just a little bit. And then slow on the inhale, we'll rise. And the exhale, finding your place here. So a few breaths, each inhale, pressing down through that right leg, getting a little taller. On the exhale, knuckles drop, shoulders soft. Beautiful, thanks. So once again, start to play, start straightening that left leg a little bit. Lower the breath, the better the balance. Soften the face, make it easy. It can be strenuous and still easy. Gaze, horizon is what leads the way. <laughs> Inhale, knee lifts. I, I caught that exhale. The heel drifts behind us. So, my popular demand, the body is parallel to the floor. On the inhale, get long. And exhale, bend right knee, see how low we can go. It's like, what's it called, limbo? So right knee's bent, left heel floats. Crown the head's feeling light as the eyes lift just a little bit, a little bit farther in front of you. Now, is this your best? Explore. Mind will hold you back, it'll sandbag. You doesn't want to be wrong. Ego doesn't want to be wrong. You lead the way. Inhale long, exhale right leg straight and strong. Inhale, press down, left leg coming up. On the exhale, find your place. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, right hand finding left leg, left hand find the back of the room. Beautiful. Each inhale, get tall. And exhale, beautiful. Open it up. It's going to say fearless, but you can flow through fear. Fear is just a tool, you see. It prepares us the most important things we do. So we learn to work with it, not avoid it, not ignore it. Yeah, step on that right leg. Inhale tall, exhale both hands in front of the room. Inhale, bring them high. Exhale, gather behind the back. Inhale, knee lifts and exhale, heel drifting behind us. Beautiful, inhale long, slowly rebending right knee, touch down left foot. Inhale, hands travel up. Exhale to heart center. Inhale, prepping for the twist. Exhale, coming right, left over inside the right knee. 
Now we're heavy through that right hand, twisting chest right side of the room, wringing it out like a washcloth, or extend the left hand the outside, the right knee and foot, right hand to the sky, and feel it. It feels good. To get back to homeostasis, man. Our body's designed to move. You start to wrap it up as Melissa does. Again, you flexible folks have to work a lot harder than we tight people. Um, we find sensation rather easily. I'll tell you what, three more breaths here. I'm going to join you in this twist, trying to recover from a little back strain from family handstands after a family picnic. It's beautiful. I know everything's changed, but it is amazing to see so many families and stuff outside enjoying it, doing things they just wouldn't commonly do. It makes you appreciate the simple things. So nothing's good or bad, man. It just is. From here, we'll draw the hands back to prayer. On the inhale, press down as we come up. On the exhale, taking it down slow. Right foot straight back soundlessly. Inhale long. Exhale low. Inhale, come up strong. Exhale, tuck right toes, facing left leg sky. I'll wait for you. I've got nothing else going on. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, coming through. Just a little rest in motion. Left heel down. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, come on down with it. Up, back, down. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, come up strong. Exhale, tuck toes, hips high. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale long, exhale low. Inhale, reach out, reach up. And exhale, draw the hands down the front of the body, palms lead the way. Beautiful. I played a little chi gung before. It's hard breathing. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it a little differently. I'm gonna surprise most of it. We're gonna do it side to side, okay? So here, all we're gonna do is take a big breath in. On the exhale, we're gonna create tension as we press in down with the left hand and directly over the body with the right hand, not necessarily up, but right over. And then on the other side, we'll big inhale, and then exhale, we'll add tension, pressing down and pressing over. So it's a hard breathing where I want you to try to draw belly button to spine. So you're really squeezing all the CO2 toxins and other things out of the body. And we'll do it side to side. Is that cool? Great. Okay, so feet together. Bring our uh, right hand over our head. Left hand just raise a little bit. Big inhale. On the exhale, press down and press over and have it be a hard breath. So exhale, 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 exhale. That was a really good exhale. Inhale, back to center. Let's face the camera real quick. Exhale, coming down, coming over. Inhale, float, center. Long exhale, over. Longer, stronger, go. Beautiful inhale, center. Exhale, come in right. Inhale, center. Exhale, come in left. One more time to the right, big inhale. Exhale, longer, stronger. Inhale, center. Exhale, last time left. Beautiful. Inhale, hands meet up. On the exhale, we fold. Inhale, long. Exhale, walk, jump, or float. Inhale, drift. Exhale, descend. Inhale, draw it forward. On the exhale, tuck toes, hips high. Inhale, press. On the exhale, knees come down. How's that feeling for you? Yeah? Nice. I like that. On all fours, a little cat-cow for a moment. Inhale, seek length. Long exhale, round it out. Inhale, seek length. A longer exhale. Feels like the air is on now. One more time for good me measure. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, finish it. Spine, sky. Inhale, neutral. On the exhale, let's even it out. So, inhale, left heel coming back. Exhale, press them out of way. Let's get solid here. Solid foundation. Right hand starts finding its way forward. Pressing through the ball of the left foot, reaching through right fingers. Inhale, extend, exercising will. Exhale, knee to elbow and take it slow. Big inhale. Long exhale. Inhale. And exhale, drawing it together. So we're reaching on the inhale, 
Long exhale, finishing the breath. Let's set two more. Nose keeps moving forward, so you're staying heavy through left chest. Last one, big inhale, reach. Longest exhales, you extend them together. Then big inhale, extend. Exhale, reverse the movement, find the left ankle with right hand. Inhale, seek length on exhale, open it up. Nose coming forward, pressing through left chest. Then dial into the restriction of the tightness. On the inhale, own it for a moment. On the exhale, moment's gone. Can you let go of it with the breath? The breath will lead the way. Is it the front of the left leg? Is it the right shoulder? Is it a combination of? Beautiful. On the inhale, heel back, hand forward. On the exhale, hand and knee descend. Nice. Inhale, chest forward, tuck toes. Exhale, straighten legs upside down. Feels good to walk it out, at least for me a little bit. Release the knees for me. Inhale, press. Exhale, deep lunge, right foot coming forward. Left heel coming down. Inhale, reach out, reach up, look up. Exhale, all the way back down. Right foot up, back and down. Gotcha. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, come up strong. Exhale, tuck toes, hips high. Inhale, heavy fingers. Exhale, left foot forward. Right heel down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, flow. Up, back, down. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, press down to lift up. Exhale, tuck toes, hips high. Inhale, crouch. Exhale, float. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Inhale, extend out, extend up. Strong legs. Exhale, swan dive. Crown head forward on the inhale. Find your way back on the exhale. Inhale, drift. Exhale, coming down slow. Inhale, chest to the front of the room. Exhale, hands a lot, hips high. Inhale, press. Exhale, right foot coming forward once again. Left heel coming down. Almost changed my mind. Inhale, extend out, extend up on the exhale. This time we will open up right hand forward, left hand back. So catching the warrior two here for the first time today seems kind of crazy. So we'll check out the heel and the heel and arch alignment or heel to heel is close enough. And then play with the intensity here by that back foot. That's the secret. Just set the back foot wherever you need it back, further back to add intensity, walk it up a little bit. I like them pretty tricky or pretty, I guess, uptight about the hips. I want to make sure they level off. And to me, one of the most important parts of the pose is often never mentioned in a class, and that's engaging the legs, trying to draw the legs toward one another. I know it's mentioned in my class. I meant other people's classes. <laughs> Constantly is a little strong. Uh, I was going to, about to do your favorite pose or one of them, but now I'm not going to. Back to that twisted line. No. Uh, on the inhale, long, and they still hands gather behind the back, interlacing the fingers. Yeah. Inhale, drop the knuckles. So we're opening up some awkward variation here. On the exhale, we're looking for a 45 degree angle on that left side. So each inhale, and I do, I love how this feels. Each inhale, she's pressing down through both feet, really lifting up through her sternum, opening up that chest. On the exhale, now her knuckles are drifting toward her left heel, and that spins that left shoulder up. It's really beautiful, powerful pose, and it opens up that heart a great deal. She's going to the more advanced uh, gaze point, or drishti as they call it in the biz, by looking up. That's going to give you a little bit more uh, imbalance and looking down. I'll tell you what, closing your eyes, whole different deal there. So enjoy. And then we'll glance down at the right foot, straighten that right leg, bring a little relief to that right leg. On the inhale, seek length. On the exhale, open up in this awkward triangle. It's the right shoulder just to the right foot, left shoulder to the sky. The knuckles drifting away from the body. And to finish it off, we'll look down at the right foot, shift the weight forward, stack the right above the left, and take off. Flexing through the heels, getting them to extend away from one another. Just a few breaths here. If you have not fallen yet, you can look up over your left shoulder.
And then glancing down to stabilize on the inhale long, slowly rebending the right knee, slowly lowering the left foot. Inhale, reach. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, high. Exhale to prayer. Let's catch a final twist on this side. Inhale long. Exhale everything. Deep twist to the right. Going left elbow inside the right knee. Now, if you had to bring up the left heel, that's cool. If you want to drop the left knee, that's cool too. But we're pressing down to the right hand, twisting chest to the right side of the room, looking to create a little bit of leverage here. If needed, you can open up as we did in this previous crescent lunge twist, or we can start to wrap it up. Final lunging twist on this side, most likely. So let's kind of go for the gusto by exploring the exhale to its fullest degree. Beautiful. Working our way back to prayer. On the inhale, press down. We come up. On the exhale, let's take the hands down. Let's lower the left knee as is and walk the right foot over the left side of the mat as that right shin descends. So we'll bring it on down for a moment. On the inhale, little lift here. On the exhale, find forearms. On the inhale, seek length. On the exhale, allow the hairline to come on down. Find a little place here. Now some little tricks. The placement of the right foot is going to determine the depth of the pose. The higher the placement, the deeper it is on that hip. If you want to add a little leverage, you can tuck the left toes and lift the left knee. That just bears a little bit more weight. If you're having some knee issues, or have had some reconstructions, as I have, you can always start to make some modifications and come to a seated variation of this by bringing that ankle on top of that knee and simply trying to draw draw chin over shin so play around with that and if you're feeling comfy you can add a little twist here by bringing the left forearm down bending the left knee a lot i'm not going to modify bring the hand down on the inhale right hand reaches up and next right hand may find that left ankle so a bit of multitasking here as we open up the right hip and that right shoulder or chest and also from the left thigh Flexing that left heel, lines it up a bit for you. Beautiful. We'll start to tuck those left toes now. Take back the hands. On the inhale, press down, lift the hips and right leg up. On the exhale, hips right leg to the sky. Beautiful. Start to bend that right knee, move it around a little bit. It feels good. You can hop around apparently a little bit. And if you're feeling comfy with a strong right or left shoulder, you can flip the dog by bringing your right foot down, right hand to the sky. On the inhale, press away heavy through left fingers, and so press down through both feet. Now we're pressing the planet away. Reaching heavy through the fingers, maybe extending the hands forward, or hand forward, I should say. Both hands forward be a little problematic. Long exhales, pressing the hips higher, opening up the heart a bit further. Preparing for a beautiful weekend. On the inhale, hand comes up. On the exhale, hand down, heel to the sky. Beautiful. On the inhale, we bring the heel up. Listen up. On the exhale, bring the right foot behind the left wrist. So from here, we'll start to bring the left hand anywhere in that right leg and start to straighten the right leg. So both legs are straight and strong. So here, drawing right hip back, left hip forward. You can work this, or you can fully revolve this very awkward and balanced tra revolve triangle by bring, drawing the right hand skyward. So three breaths here, each inhale seeking length, and exhale find your place here. So I'm pretty good with both hands on my right leg, just opening up, I feel it, a lot of intensity on the right leg. Melissa can revolve it here, looking to feel a little bit more. She's actually engaging core straight by floating that left hand off her right leg. Very tricky stuff here. But a nice balance to what we did earlier this morning in cross training. So on the inhale, we'll rotate over that right leg. On the exhale, drape over the right leg. A little payoff pose. I've been re requested not to cut too short. So a couple breaths just draping over that right leg. Should feel pretty good, I dare say, on the back of the right leg. Move that right hip a little bit. 
on the inhale, little lengthen, slight bend, right knee. Exhale, left joins right. Inhale, long. Exhale, low. Coming up slow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, crown that forward. On exhale, walk, jump or slowly float. Inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, descend. Inhale, press down to lift up. On the exhale, tuck toes, hips high. Beautiful, heavy through fingers. And let's just balance it out here, you guys. Next inhale, press. Exhale, deep lunge, left foot. Right heel coming down slow. Inhale, reach. On the exhale, you guessed it, we open it. So good. Once again, checking that line at the heel, the arch, the knee, the foot. Once again, you set the intensity, always. And once again, drawing some energy behind it as you start to draw the heels toward one another. Engaging, moving in to find your place and in this pose at this time on this side. Then on the inhale, we'll reach. On the exhale, we'll draw the hands together behind the back. Beautiful view here. She opens up the chest, pressing the palms, knuckles drawing away from the shoulders any direction. On the inhale, getting long. On the exhale, we're seeking a 45 degree angle on the right side this time. Still pressing down through both body, getting a little bit longer, both sides of the body, I should say. And then we're trying to point the right shoulder. And eventually, maybe the chest skyward for just a few breaths here. Beautiful tendency to collapse a little bit in that front knee, so we're going to lift that, that left arch. Outside of the right foot stays pressed. Then glancing down, that left leg will start to straighten it. Making some adjustments to that right foot, as you can see. But we're looking for that each inhale, pressing down through both feet, drawing the crown head forward. On the exhale, left shoulder descends toward left foot, right shoulder stacked on top, and the knuckles drifting toward the back of the room. Now, again, this is a great little pose, a great standalone pose. Legs are strong. If you feel comfortable, though, you can move into a traditional awkward half moon by shifting the weight forward, stacking the right hip above the left, and taking off. And happiness embracing what happens next whether you're solid or falling should impede our day happiness a choice health a habit or you can really reverse that as well health a choice happiness a habit it all comes with practice if you haven't tried to look up or close your eyes this is the best time to do it it's the only time to do it right here right now Beautiful, glancing down to stabilize. And the inhale, long, slow exhale, rebending left knee, lower right foot. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right to left. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, hands up. I don't know what we were going on there. I was like, am I doing the right thing? Inhale, long. Exhale, let's twist it up, drawing that right elbow on the outside of the left knee. On the inhale, seek length. On the exhale, press down. Left hand, twist chest, left side of the room. So here you can always lower the right knee down. We start to open it up just a few breaths here. I want to wrap it up. That's cool. Again, pressing down through both feet, drawing the crown of the head forward, really twisting it up, bringing it out. Last three breaths. You got this. We will work our way back and then slowly on the inhale, hands high. On the exhale, take those hands down. Right knee descends as the left foot walks over the right side of the mat. Left shin descends, it comes on down as well. On the inhale, little length. On the exhale, find forearms. On the inhale, long, and exhale, hairline coming down to the mat. Make the adjustments here. So, again, problematic knees. Mostly guys, I see with it, but some ladies as well, you can make that adjustment, come to that seated position, and chin over shin. Flexing to the left heel, making the adjustments with that right heel, maybe close to that right hip. Each inhale, get a little tall, and exhale, draw it across. 
the eyes close, let the breath do the work, can't force it. Every time my mind starts to wander, you can bring that foot a little closer to the right shoulder, just so you feel more. It's that sensation that keeps us, often keeps that mind quiet. Also keeps us here in this present moment, because you can only feel here and now. It's the only way we interact with reality, our senses, that is. Tell you what, if you want to add a twist before we depart, you can do so by bringing the right forearm down, or even the right hand down, it's all due to adjust. Bend the right knee a lot. On the inhale, left hand extends skyward, on the exhale, left hand may find that right knee. Sorry, that right ankle. On the inhale, seek length. On the exhale, flex ankle and hand. Spin that left shoulder skyward. So on the inhale, you can close your eyes. You're nice and safe and stop, stable. You can track that breath into that tightness where in the body you're holding on to it. And on the exhale, try to chip away at it. Let's chip more wear away at it, like water against rock, that fluidity of water winning over rock in time. Two more breaths. Beautiful. From here, we'll release the right toes. We'll take back the hands. We're going to tuck the right toes. Next inhale, press down, lift the hips and left leg up. On the next inhale, hips and left leg to the sky. Feels good to move it around a little bit. Then we can start to bend the knee and stack the hips, keeping the shoulders level. And again, this is a great standalone pose, or you can flip the dog. We're bringing left foot down, left hand to the sky. On the inhale, press away strong. Next inhale, press down through both feet, heavy through right fingers. Hips coming higher. If you want to open up further, left hand can extend toward the front of the room as well. One of the last little heart openers here today. Preparing us for this beautiful weekend. Heavy through right fingers. Inhale, left hand high. On the exhale, left hand down, left heel to the sky. So the inhale will bring it up. Listen up. On the exhale, we'll draw left foot behind right wrist. So we're staying a little cross legged here. As we start to let work that left leg straight and strong, right hand can find the posting on that left leg leg straight and strong a little imbalanced because we're on a tightrope we're actually crisscrossed a little bit but if you want to add a revolution here meaning revolve it on the inhale left hand comes forward on the exhale left hand spins skyward or it can spin backwards too that's cool left hand makes this way its own independent beautiful journey toward the sky so again with me just find the cessation of drawing my left hip back right hip forward i feel plenty on the back of my left hamstring and left hip. Two breaths, slow them down, extend them. Once again, try to bring a quality to not just our breath, but to everything we do. That's the difference. Kung Fu, we call it authentic presence. It's just being fully present. People can feel it. Next inhale, we'll rotate. Now over that left leg on the exhale, we'll drape. Take a few breaths here. Leave your leftover tension up and down that left leg. Long exhales, releasing it. Beautiful. Knee inhale, a little length. Slight bend left foot, left knee. On the exhale, right to left. Beautiful. Inhale, long. Exhale, low, coming up slow. Inhale, reach out, reach up, strong legs. Exhale, swan dive, final fold. Inhale, crown bed forward. Exhale, walk, jump, or slowly float. Inhale, top of the toes. Exhale, descend. Inhale, press down to lift up. Heart wide open on the exhale. Tuck toes, hip sky. Beautiful. Walk it out. You got this. Last few moments. Inhale, press. On the exhale, we'll bring the knees down. So finding all fours on the inhale, ch chest forward, arch comes. Long exhale, rounded out spine, sky. Inhale, neutral. 
We'll exhale, soften from here. We'll cross our ankles and sit straight back. Nice and easy. From here, I'll tell you what, let's bring the soles of the feet together, the knees extend out, then down. So you find the feet right away. On the inhale, press down and sit up. On the exhale, fold forward, drawing the nose to the front of the room. I mean, you can walk the hands forward, you can reach. But we're trying to allow the inner thighs to release and the knees to descend for a moment, just to find a little space. Easy. Beautiful, walking it back up for a moment. I'll tell you what, let's come and do easy pose. I'm gonna end differently today. And we'll see it. So I want to be. I want to end like we began. So we we'll draw the hands to prayer. You close your eyes. On the inhale, reach the hands high. On the exhale, rotate to the right. Join left hand, right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. On the exhale, twist over that right shoulder. Doesn't it? So compare what you've done. It's been almost an hour. I always say weaker, stronger, tighter, longer. Every day you choose a direction of change. But here's the deal. Feel the difference. Beautiful, slowly inhale, rotate to center, exhale, hands find prayer. Inhale, reach high, exhale, coming left, right hand, left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, sit up tall, exhale, feel and twist and feel the end of the breath, find it. Eyes and close and start to lighten up. But you're looser and longer than you were when you walked in here or started this today, now or whenever you are starting it, thanks to the internet and the on-demand world. And you will be stronger because what you did here today, that's it. That's manifesting. You've done it. Next inhale, coming back to center on the exhale, hands prayer. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. So a few breaths here. So you've handled the physical portion of shaping reality today. You can do things like give it, you know, give the nutrients it needs to heal, give it the rest it needs to heal, and recover and rebuild. And you will be stronger tomorrow. From here, let's walk it up. I'll tell you what, on the inhale, reach out, reach up. On the exhale, draw the hands down your center line, and once again, stack the palms. Try left over right, right over left. As my sister and I would say, riding the leg, PC. On the inhale, posture check. Press sit bones down, lift crown the head up. On the exhale, soften the shoulders, close your eyes, put a soft smile on the face. And a few breaths here. A little meditation in a different position here. And here, I'll tell you what, let's work on a little manifesting just for today, a little exploration. On the inhale, allow your mind, your awareness to drift to something maybe you're resisting in your day or dreading or playing out a neg negative scenario. On the exhale, I want to see that change, change it to a positive outcome. See if you can do a little inner alchemy, if you will. So in the inhale, flowing through it, what, what, what are we still holding on to? What are we resisting or perceiving that we resist? On the exhale, what would happen if we don't resist it? Hell, what would happen if we embrace it? Embrace it. I don't know. Just try it on for size. That's all we're doing. We're just trying things on. How about just a few seconds? Try on different elements of your day. Let's say we can get a better fit. Let's, let's do the clothes analogy. A few moments. Do your best. Please enjoy.
before you open your eyes, before you move a soft smile over the face. Made it through another class, successfully took a little time to care for yourself. That's what gives us the, the power, the ability to care for others. We have to start with ourselves first. So from here, you start to draw yourself back. But let's maintain the tools that we developed here today. The breath delivering energy and calmness, this openness, keeping us connected, and this ability to shape reality, to embrace reality. That's how we shape it, to embrace it. So hold on to all these abilities as you draw yourself back to center and get ready to take on the day. I want to thank, as usual, my lovely wife and demonstrator and who's locked in to here to help me. Uh, something happened to the Yam Instagram, so I don't know what that means. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. It's really it's an honor and privilege to have you guys come in our home. It's also a little bit weird, but that's okay. We'll get through it together. Everyone stay safe. We'll come up with some new programming for next week, probably starting Tuesday. Cool? Have fun. Bye, you guys. Happy Easter.